The forensic science shows that are on television create this expectation that we always have evidence in cases to test. I think a lot of times that gives the, the public a skewed perception of what to expect when law enforcement is conducting an investigation. Juries are so used to seeing in the modern media all sorts of scientific and technological innovation, sometimes called the CSI effect. Try to block out everything you've seen on TV, or books you've read and understand this is what we're dealing with in this particular case. Medical examiner isn't about prosecution. My job is to figure out what happened to this person and the prosecution and the investigation really belongs to law enforcement and the county attorney. The forensic scientists try to solve problems that are related to the law through science. You know, the observations that are made over the years about, you know, disease processes or injury consequences and, you know, the effects of bullets on tissue, there's things that are objective. So you have to take the objective with the subjective and try to merge them, which in the end is an opinion. Error can occur during analysis. It's how it's explained to the jury that is important. Clearly, the courts are there having a question that needs to be answered, and we're not always able to do that. I can think of lots of ways that this person got stabbed and the positions that they were in, but I can't say for sure. So I would tell jurors, be very wary of that absolutely certain expert witness. We want you to look at the evidence for what it is and for what is capable of being done and what was done as a juror. You have an amazing amount of power, and it's important that you take that power seriously and really think about what things mean and the decisions that you make.